Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for November 13th to the 14th of 2021. Let's get into it with an Oracle card message for my beautiful Geminis. What is going on with my Geminis in the next 48 hours here? What do they need to know for November 13th to the 14th of 2021? All right, let's see. I don't know why I say, I want to say outcast or cast out. I don't know if you're listening to the group outcast or you're watching something that has to do with being outcast or casted out or something like that. We have number 17, flower, be honest with yourself. That's also an eight. We have 33, a master number, nostalgia, focus on the here and now. I haven't seen that card in such a long time. We have eight wings. You never need those wings to fly. I've seen that for almost every reading tonight. We have 21, Clover, release your guilt. That is also a three. So three, three, three. I'm going to write that down before I forget. That may be significant to somebody here. Write three, three, three below if that's you. All right. But um, something about the past, a truth about the past has come up. Something that you repressed, a repressed memory is coming back up. Or you had a dream or a trigger that reminds you of the truth about a past. But it, it sets you free, though. At first, it's very triggering, but it, it sets you free. It allows you to release yourself, and the overall energy is release your guilt. So if there's something from the past that's kept you bound or stuck or feeling guilty, it's time to release your guilt about that. Because it's, I mean, it's in the past that happened back, way back when, when you didn't know any better. I mean, majority of people are trying their best, right? We do what we can with what we know. So if you did something in the past or something happened in the past that you feel like you should have done better, re overall energy is release your guilt. It does not matter what it is, Gemini. Release your guilt because you are not that person. And obviously now you would not repeat that. Again, we have we have like um, 17 is 8 and we have an 8. And then we have 33 and 3. So 8, 8 and 3, 3, 3. Clearly, you're not that same person. And I feel like guilt has been keeping you trapped. When we have to be honest with yourself and focus on the here and now, there's something about the past that you're beating yourself up for now. And you should not do that anymore. And you have, you never need those wings to fly. Release yourself from that and release your guilt. Because I feel like you have the chance and opportunity. You can free yourself, but you're like choosing between, should I stay stuck and punish myself for what I did? Or should I move on? You should move on. All right, let's get into the tarot for Gemini for the next 48 hours for November 13th to the 14th of 2021. What are you going to beat yourself up forever? No, that's dumb. All right, for November 13th to the 14th of 2021, next 48 hours for Gemini. I really feel like you should let it go. And it's not even about what I feel. Spirit's telling you, release your guilt and let the situation go. All right, we have Ace of Wands. I feel like that... It's making me um, see this scene from a movie about, I don't know if it's Catholic or when you like, you whip yourself to repent for your sins. I don't know if that's Catholicism or something like that. Um, you've done that for a long time. You, it's no need to do that anymore. <laughs> Four swords. Yeah, make peace with the past. Rest let it go. You have a new you have a new offer. Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning full of blessings and abundance. But you feel guilty because of things you did in your past. Let that go. You feel like you need to keep reliving it and punishing yourself, but you don't. You've paid for it. You're not that same person. Let it go. King of Swords, here you are. You may have said things in the past. You may have done things in the past. The world card that is done. It's over. Our cycle is complete. You're not the same person. You're not going to repeat it. Overall energy is the devil, Capricorn. So yeah, you got some fears. For some of you, some addictions. And something that's keeping you bound and trapped to the past. You have the opportunity to let it go. And I mean, with the world card, whether or not you choose to let it go, it's done. It's over. You're not the same person. It's not going to repeat itself. So, I mean, to continue to punish yourself in this time, it's just you doing that. Because you're not that same person. You're not in that cycle anymore. So it would just be a mental thing. Spirit is completely wiping that away. You get a new beginning. You get peace. You get clarity. Clarify this for Gemini. Like, even if you try to do that to yourself. I mean, focus on the here and now. Spirit has closed it for you. So you're not even in that anymore. In that same state of mind. 
clarify this for Gemini. I feel like you're punishing yourself because you either you feel guilty or you feel like if I do this, I won't repeat it. You're not going to <laughs> clarify this for Gemini or you're regardless of what it is. You're making yourself feel guilty and when you shouldn't or for something that you didn't do for some of you. Right, two more shots. We'll clarify this for Gemini. Last one for Gemini. For some of you, you were forced to do this or tempted to do it. I ain't going to get into specifics. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is a chariot, Cancer. Yeah, you have the chance to move somewhere else, relocate. Also, you have the chance to move forward. I feel like you get a job offer or you just get a, a fresh start, an opportunity for a fresh start, regardless of what it is with the Ace of Pentacles. You have the chance to plant a new seed somewhere else, a new beginning of stability and abundance. And you can go now. And, or in the next 48 hours, it's going to happen and you can go now. It's great for you. Five of swords, but this is negative self-talk. You're going to try to talk yourself out of it and tell yourself you don't deserve it. Clarifying the four of swords is a strength card, Leo. You have the strength and the stability and the character and experience to do so. I feel like you're going to overcome the negative self-talk and you're going to go towards it anyway. Page of Pentacles, yeah. It's a long time coming. And it may take you a while to actually, you know accept the fact that you deserve this but i feel like you're going to make the physical action to go towards it before your mind and body and emotions can accept it so take the action don't wait for you to feel like you deserve it take the action first it'll come later clarifying the king of swords of the sun card leo again i feel like i just pulled that somewhere else oh strength card leo so two leo cards clarifying the king of swords knight of wands yeah, you're allowed to do this. Regardless of what you think of yourself, you're allowed to take this with the sun card. You're blessed to have this. You're meant to do this. And I feel like um, it's going to be a delayed reaction with your mind and emotions. So the offer comes first and your mind and emotions catch up later. And it's going to be made very clear to you later that this is meant for you. You're meant to travel. Um, this is some type of wonderlust as well. You may want to check out the Aquarius reading. Or the Libra reading, clarifying the universe is the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is very, this is extremely lucrative for you. Financially, this is going to pan out amazing for you. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So what's the truth here is, I feel like I need to hammer this home for you. Overall, I need to do the Ace of Cups. That's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. What the message I need to hammer home, if you didn't get nothing else from this, is that whatever you did in the past, it is done. And you should no longer pay for it or feel guilty about it. The Ace of um, Swords is the truth. It's clarifying the world card, the universe. A cycle has completed. It's done. You will not repeat it again. It's over. So whatever it is that you feel guilty about, it's done. It's over. You don't, not, you don't need to punish yourself anymore. This Ace of Pentacles is meant for you. You're meant to have generational wealth and stability. This is meant for you. You're meant to travel. You're meant to explore. You're meant to be free. That is what's meant for you. Take this offer. Your emotions and your mind will catch up later. It's a delayed reaction. I feel like with the devil card, you're hell bent on punishing yourself. And you shouldn't do that anymore. Ace of Cups, you're meant to feel love and emotions and happiness and fulfillment in life. You're no longer meant to punish yourself. Release your guilt, Gemini. I'm going to leave it there because this could be for so many different things. All right. If this reading resonated, don't forget. To, and I also, if this is an inheritance, you feel like you don't deserve, you deserve it. You deserve the Ten of Pentacles. All right. If this reading resonated, if you're marrying into wealth, you deserve it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry or see pictures of it or videos, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.